here I am at Fium Junction <clears throat> on my way to the SE Awards and um, yeah the train has got a fault so it's cancelled so I'm supposed to be doing my rehearsing at the venue at six o'clock and I'm not going to get into Waterloo um, until ten past six so I'm going to be late so just absolutely sods bloody law. Anyway, I'm sure it'll be fine. I've practiced it loads and loads of times. Really looking forward to tonight and to finding out who's going to be winning. Um, yeah, so it's, it's just the best event, this one. It, it really is a showcase event. I love it. So I'll let you know what happens and I'll catch up with you later during the week. Bye. Okay, so here I am at the SC Awards Europe. So I have my trusty cameraman, Quinton Taylor from Canon, who's kindly offered to video this, which is great. Um, so he's doing an awesome job. It is absolutely heaving out there. And we're going to show you what that looks like in a minute. But if you look around the room, then you can see it's looking pretty good. Everyone is going to dive in here any minute now. So it kicks off at 7.30 and yeah, so let's take you through. Come with me. Come with me. Jane, I have just got to InfoSec and it is buzzing here, so I just try and make sure that I don't walk into anyone. And um, <laughs> so it's a challenge, but you can. I'm just going to like turn turn the camera around so you can actually get a feel for what it is like here. I love this place. The best thing about InfoSec for me is actually catching up with friends. InfoSec is definitely a social, and I've been coming here for gosh, decades. It feels like about 18 years, but it's definitely 15. A long, long time. When I had my pen testing company, I exhibited here in 2002. So that's rather a long time ago, but yeah, it's great. It seems actually quite quiet this year. And, um, but apparently they've got exhibitors in different kind of places. So it's going to be a challenge to kind of meet up with as many of the people that I want to meet up with. Uh, but like I said, it was just like RSA Con actually, it's the same thing. I don't attend talks and things like that, none of the keynotes. This is about meeting with um, my friends and contacts and CISOs and us getting together and having a catch up. So I will check in with you later. First day, just arrived at Centre Parks and I am going to do a, I think I'm going to do a keynote at the Open West. Open. I was summit. I don't really know what I'm doing actually, but I said I would help Dennis um, Dennis Cruz out, who's the CISO of Photobox. So <laughs> I've just kind of got through traffic, slightly mad. I'm ex pretty exhausted actually because it's been infosec, and like I keep telling you, I'm an introvert. So anyway, just got to find this place, and I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be really good. It's going to be great fun. I'll let you know how this one goes. I'll catch up with you soon. Hi, it's Jane, and here I am at the Open Security Summit. I'm with De Dennis Cruz, who is the CISO of Photobox. And I'm going to get Dennis to tell you all about this amazing event because it is so cool and you really need to know about it. So the Open Security Summit is this event where we're having 130, 150 professionals coming to Centre Parks Woburn, which is literally in the middle of a forest to a conference facility and the villas which we show in a second to collaborate and this is you can imagine that this is like lobby con on steroids so the best part of conferences is when you meet people and you have that sort of serendipity that just happened we have that almost engineered so we have all sorts of tracks and sessions who go from chaos engineering to threat modeling to maps which we really got massively into this and maps year. were amazing the, oh my god the simon worldly maps, maps spectacular yeah. like change the way we're planning this stuff we got a lot of stuff on our own oas projects or open security uh, sorry um this the sam project you know there's a lot of people writing guides and it's really about getting people together it's getting passionate people from the industry coming together and working and collaborating and everything we do here is released on the creative commons so you can go to the website and we've got all sorts of things material 
published. We actually had a cool Slack channel where everything was there, so we're going to maybe follow the whole thing up. And it's just really, really spectacular because we, you know, we, we love you know security, we love our world, and we're just you know, collaborating and really creating new things. One area that I think was really interesting is this intersection that we really got this year, which is we got threat modeling, which we done normally. We got user stories mapping, so we actually got some developers and senior devs to come along and show us how they do user stories, and then the maps. And we actually are very compatible, but there's definitely a key language that if we can really now take that to the next level, is really, really interesting. It was amazing. One of the, one of the really nice things that I, I mean, I enjoyed all of it, so it was really exciting because there were people here of all levels. So we had a really good turnout from men and women. Yep. And again, like all levels, we had CISOs here, we had you know, new starters, didn't we? Yep. So people who were new to the industry, but it was very, very welcoming, very inclusive. And it's so much fun. And literally, what the funny thing is, like, I don't know if you can see this, but behind, we're gonna take you around because this is just, how long is the event? How long has the event been? Five days. Five so days. Since Monday. Five days staying in an amazing like property, like if you can see. So what we, we do is it's like the best of both worlds because we have a world class conf conference facility, so everything is great from a, from a conference facility yep. point of view. But we then do is, and this is what Warbon is special, is we rent. We have nine villas, so we have nine of these villas. So we literally not only have sessions here during the day you'll see that but we literally keep going so we go up to 11 o'clock literally midnight you arrive here at 11 o'clock there's people doing thread models on the wall and and that's what again what makes it special so today is actually our kind of party well it's not a party it's just a barbecue it's but a you, fire but, but like see. we're going to show you the show fire you. it's like and, but everybody leave kind the of, guys leave the guys to do the barbecue <laughs> and it's a fire yeah and basically this is what we do you know um every night so not the barbecue but like we we kind of basically continue having sessions, we continue to work together, and but because we have the villas, it's kind of like everybody crashing to everybody else's villa, yeah. and we keep collaborating. And um, you know that, that's kind of what makes it special, versus yeah. a hotel where everybody's spread, yeah. and, and you yeah. kind of lose that magic. And the but, connection, the, yeah. the collaboration, and the community. Yeah. And the thing that yeah. I really like is when we, because we plan the villas, and we kind of, again, we manufacture serendipity, so we sometimes put people together on a villa that we know should talk, ah. but, but, that, but sometimes you, they have that shyness and it's only when they meet their breakfast and they're going and they start geeking out and then they realize for them sometimes the shy person how good they are yeah and, and there's yeah. that jump and going like oh I'm talking to that person but then they realize they talk on equals yeah because that person actually might be more famous or more popular but they are also very knowledgeable and they, yeah. that person is very interesting what they do so some of the best com conversations are actually happening over breakfast over the villas and and it's that relaxed environment yep. that actually makes it special yeah yeah so let us show you around. Yeah. We're going to show you around. We're going to show you around, show you the barbecue. So the amount of people who are here. It's going to like switch around. Good stuff and thank you Dennis thank you so much my pleasure thank you and yeah check it out like come and get involved and yeah check it out so it's all really the materials good. are open security and um, and we can the idea for us is to actually we're gonna do the same thing next year but we're gonna start organizing sessions either at Photobox or, or Capital One or a couple of others maybe every month yep. where it's a similar model and it can, people just come together and work and then keep the momentum and then next year we do it even bigger and better and okay. more people. So yeah, get yourself here. Talk to you soon. Um, it's, I meant to get this video out to you yesterday, but quite frankly, I was absolutely shattered. It was one hell of a week last week. There were so many brilliant things about it. But certainly um, from Thursday, things got quite interesting. So as many of you may know, I actually put a tweet out about booth babes on Thursday. So I was out InfoSec on uh, Wednesday. I was at InfoSec at Wednesday, wandering around and people approached me and they said, like, have you seen the booth babes on radar services stand? So I hadn't, so I walked around and immediately I saw these girls in red ball gowns and they looked out of place uh, because there weren't guys with tuxedos and I couldn't see a link between um, diamonds and hacking and things like that and these girls in, in red ball gowns. So I went up, I didn't want to presume anything at all. <laughs> so I went up and was polite to them and asked them, hey, you know, can you talk to me about, you know, your services and things like that? What are you doing? And it became very clear that they were just temps for the, for the event. 
So I've no problem you know, with people you know, being employed and helping out stands like this, but I felt it was too close, you know, too, it took us back to how things were. And women in security aren't judged in the same way as men in security, obviously we're different genders, but there are different rules of the game for us. And um, so I was quite concerned about this. And I knew that InfoSec has a strict Booth Babes code of conduct. Uh, well, not code, but it's written into their terms. So I stuck this tweet out. I could have done it much better, hands up. You know, I messed up with regards to that. Uh, but things kind of kicked off on Thursday when Newsweek picked it up and ran the story. I stand by what I did and it's really good because there was a breach um, with regards to the terms and the company was, was spoken to. Um, but certain things happened after that which we really need to deal with. So I, along with others, um, you know, from Thursday at least, were, were, we were, there was online abuse, there was a backlash online on Twitter and you know, I was dealing with that um, day in, night out and watching it and being attentive and commenting when I felt that I needed to and remaining silent when I felt I needed to. Now, there is a really good story to all of this because it was sorted out and that involved someone else who's got a really big following, um, Naomi Wu, um, and she actually, <laughs> after being quite um, vocal about me and what I did, kind of reached out and we found a way to, act, we found a way to solve it, to resolve um, the mess. And she realized that actually we had shared goals and as she said, um, good fight, bad battle or something like that. So it was all sorted out, but what became apparent actually was that there was another incident on, whenever it was, during the week of InfoSec with a woman who was um, assaulted, so groped at an event. Now there are witnesses and everything like that, but um, we need a code of conduct. So on the 28th of June, I'm getting people together at the Dead Dolls House in London. There's a really strong chance that I'm gonna be streaming this too, uh, because we need people to come in and help and for us to sort this out. Uh, this can be, we need it. It can be a really good step forward and um, so check out the event there will be more information um, about this and let's turn this into something really positive and make sure that this type of behavior is stamped out and that we actually create a positive work culture and culture for women certainly to be safe and respected at at events so that is it for this week it's a pretty long um, vlog didn't mean for that to happen but it's been a hell of a week so I will catch you really soon. Bye.